Welcome back to the build of my RANS S20. Today I'm going to talk about the electrical system. More specifically, how I'm going to run the electrical harnesses and the methods I'm going to use to secure them. I haven't been making a lot of progress on the airplane lately, or making videos for that matter. My wife and I visited Southern Europe for the better part of a month and a half. We hit Athens, Santorini, had to visit Atlantis, and then a beach tour of Crete. Then I went off to Berlin while she continued on to Italy, France, and London. It's nice to travel again now that these COVID travel restrictions are winding down. As you can see here, the frame still looks pretty bare. I only have a few systems installed so far. I have the fuel system already laid in, I have the control system more or less done, uh, and the interior panels, well, I don't have them all finished, but at least I have, the, uh, have them all cut to shape. Uh, that way I know where all the gaps are between the side panels, and I know where all the structure is that I need to work around, uh, but I especially want to do this before I put the fabric on, so I can have access to the back side if I need to put an ADEL clamp on. Uh, also, I don't want to damage the fabric. Uh, but especially, I want to do this early so the electrical harness doesn't look like an afterthought. I'll start at the front and work my way back. This is where the avionic shelf is going to be, so there'll be a big plate there with all the major components mounted to it. Then I'll run the major harness down the right side of the back of the firewall and then down the lower right side of the uh, fuselage frame. There's a panel that goes, uh, goes over this that will cover it, uh, that, will, that will have fabric on top of it. And then I'll run the wires uh, past that and then underneath this other panel. So then they all get, they branch off from there. Then underneath this plate, the harness will split. In the bay under the co-pilot seat, I'll fabricate a shelf where both the pitch and roll servos will be mounted. So part of the harness will go aft to pick up the servos and also the ELT. But planning for the worst, the ELT will need a long pigtail to allow easy removal without tools if the need arises and I need to hike out with it. Then a branch of the harness will run under the console to the left bay. Continuing over to the left side, there's not much going to be mounted under the pilot seat. Just a high pressure fuel pump, fuel lines, and a filter. So I'll run the harness along the forward truss, making sure that it's above any fuel lines, as you really try to keep hoses containing combustible fluids below any wires, just to minimize any potential fire. I'll then need to run just a couple wires into the fuel pump assembly, of course from above and well insulated, to minimize any chafing that could cause a spark. Then I'll need to run only a few wires through an inline connector to the fuel pressure sensor mounted under the left kick panel. One goal is to keep fuel lines away from wires, so I'm running all the fuel hoses down the left side of the fuselage, while running all the wires down the right side. Planning this early in the build allows for this design consideration. And lastly, on this side, I'll pick up the wires from the pilot's control stick switches. The co-pilot seat backs up to a partition that I've already covered with fabric. When I built up the partition, I included a couple holes for electrical harnesses, sized large enough for rubber grommet feed-throughs. Notice that the holes are actually keyhole shaped, that allows me to run the wires through the rubber grommet to prevent any chafing against the metal bulkhead, while also allowing easy removal of the partition for maintenance. Those two harnesses through the seatback partition then supply wires to the aft avionic shelf under the baggage compartment floor. Here will be mounted the WASP GPS antenna adapter, the baggage light timer, and the wingtip light power supply. Along the shelf will be a couple harness runs that not only supply the remote boxes, but also up the B-pillar into the wing and baggage lights. But I also already installed a conduit to the tail. In the S20, the pitch trim uses an electric servo mounted in the horizontal stabilizer, which requires a wire run all the way to the tail. And to allow for maintenance, or the addition of wires after the fabric is glued on, this conduit makes that work easy. As like I did on the wings, I'll include lacing cords through the conduit, along with the trim wires, to pull any wires through if they need to be added. I haven't secured the exit of the conduit, as that will need to wait for the covering process, but I will be adding a water drain hole in the conduit at the bottom of the curve, as all conduits are required to have. In addition to supplying wires to the aft avionic shelf, I'll run a harness along the back of the truss to supply the center console, which will contain the headset jacks, intercom music jack, cigarette lighter, and USB charging ports. I'll also need to pick up the header tank low-level sensor wires. 
all the time keeping any wires as far away as possible from the fuel hoses. Next time, I'll talk about how I'm going to secure the wire harnesses throughout the structure and some tips about using tie wraps. <laughs>